U.S. Rep. John Conyers, photo, Getty Images file. Washington Another woman who volunteered for long-time U.S. Rep. John Conyers is accusing him of touching her inappropriately. Dolores Lyons, who volunteered for Conyers from 2010 to 14, claims in an affidavit that there were three instances in which Conyers fondled her, including an incident in which he guided her hand to his genitals while she was driving. She said she yelled at him to stop and go back to sleep, and he giggled in response. In a second incident, Lyons claims she and Conyers were at an event in a crowd when she felt a hand rubbing her buttocks and hip. I was startled and jumped away, which made my son turn around, Lyons stated in the affidavit. My son noticed that it was Rep. Conyers as well and even said, Hey, man. That's my mama. Conyers resigns, Gov. Snyder reviewing special election. The allegations of sexual harassment or mistreatment are the latest against Conyers, who announced his immediate retirement Tuesday, the oldest and third longest serving member in the U.S. House. The latest accusations follow news late Monday of another woman to come forward with allegations against Conyers. Alisa Grubbs, who said she worked for Conyers from 2001 to 13, accuses him of touching her inappropriately by stroking and rubbing my thighs and appearing naked before her. Lyons also says in an affidavit that she was sitting behind Conyers and Grubbs in church and saw Grubbs jump and say, he just ran his hand up my thigh. Conyers has repeatedly denied claims he mistreated staffers. His lawyer, Arnold Reed, dismissed the new allegations late Tuesday, saying Marion Brown and Lyons are great friends. The allegations of any female with regard to sexual harassment naturally should be taken serious, however when someone is represented by Lisa Bloom, who in every turn engages in tomfoolery and is employed by Harvey Weinstein, you have to look at it through a suspect eye, said Reed. She engages in nothing but tomfoolery, and it is not worthy of any further response. Lisa Bloom, attorney for three women who have made claims against Conyers, blasted Conyers' decision Tuesday to resign. Congressman Conyers suddenly retired today but the real reason was to avoid the upcoming Ethics Committee investigation into the multiple claims of sexual harassment and retaliation against him that we've been pushing for, Bloom said in a statement. Ironically, he claimed he could not get due process, but my client Marion Brown and the other accusers wanted the opportunity to testify before the committee and tell their stories, an MR. Conyers could have also testified and called witnesses on his behalf. That's what due process is. Yet he resigned to kill that hearing. In the latest accusation, Lyons recalls standing at a buffet table when I felt rep. Conyers brush up against me and slide his hand across my buttocks. I turned to him and said, you're going to get knocked out. Grubbs claims she also witnessed him touching and stroking the legs and buttocks of Brown, Grubbs' cousin and other female employees of the congressman on multiple occasions. When Rep.